Hey, God bless you. So we're at the mall. What we do is we want to kind of do a training video for to edify the body of Christ, equip the saints for the work of ministry, that we're doing uh, you know, the gospel uh, invasion in the food court, more of an intimate relational setting to where we can get in conversation with people and talk to them about Christ, about reconciliation to God, give them the full counsel of God. So you're going to witness seeing that table to table. And so um, you know, get this out to your friends and family. If you don't know how to work a mall, the best thing is go in the food courts. Okay, because people are eating. We're going to give them food to eat they know not of. Uh, and they're sitting down. So how the Lord's taught us over the years in every mall uh, throughout the country is to get into the food court. We've seen some of the greatest fruit. Uh, people getting drawn by the Holy Spirit and, and just uh, God doing radical things in prayer. And so you'll witness some of that at, throughout these malls. And so we wanted to get this, and uh, especially in the holiday season. So Okay, you can go inside the mall and go out in the, go in the lanes and, and, and do that. But it's wise in the food court. Because you're out of the way of security. You don't got to get permission from the mall. We can get in, get a lot of tracks out, a lot of conversation. This is one on one evangelism. So we're going to give them the whole counsel of God and use discernment. Some people are eating. We're not going to talk to everybody and try to get the full uh, gospel, but at least plant a seed, leave a track at every table. Uh, so we're going to see, I'm going to give them something to get something. I'm going to ask them, do you know why you need to be saved? And that'll be the usual introduction to the conversation as the Spirit would lead uh, other ways to open the door to converse with the people. But the main thing is you go in malls, get in the food court out of the way where you're not as visible. And I got a bright green shirt on, so it's a little more visible, but have done this for quite a while, so we know that in this area, there's not a whole lot of security walking around to ask us to leave the mall. We've got a good maybe hour or two in most malls. Uh, and if they ask you to leave, go ahead and go. But you can get a lot done without having to get permission, set up a table, just get in and filtrate the place of the Word of God. So. May the Lord be magnified Hello, in Jesus' name. Excuse me? Yeah. Uh, did you get one of these gospel tracks? I didn't, man. Uh, it talks about the Lord Jesus. Would yeah, you like to have one? Yeah. Do you know why you need to be saved, sir? I do, yeah. We go to church. Oh, praise God. Yeah. Yeah, praise God. You know, we're all guilty before God. We've sinned against Him and thought would indeed. Mm -hmm. You know, without Jesus in our hearts, we're in great danger. Mm -hmm. That's right. All right. God bless you. Thank you. Hi, guys. Hey, did you guys get a gospel track? Talks, a gospel track talks about Jesus. Oh, no, that's okay. Not today. Do you guys know why you need to be saved? Not today. Well, I mean, we don't want to so, talk about we're, it today. We're guilty before God because we've broken all of His laws, guys. Okay. The Ten Commandments, have you heard of those before? All right. I know. Yeah. Jesus, that's Jesus, your only hope, Goodbye. guys. Come to Christ, guys. Read that Bible every day, okay? Yes. Praise God. Hello, miss. I didn't. Did you get a gospel track that talks about the Lord Jesus? I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. No, you don't have to live here in the States. You got to make sure you're from the kingdom of God. That's the most important thing. Yes, I know, but no. Do you, do you know why you need to be saved? No, it's okay. Come to Jesus. Yes, I know, but no. Outs you. Outside of Jesus, we're in great danger. Yes. Let's come to Christ. How are you guys doing? Hey, do you guys get a gospel track talks about the Lord Jesus? Uh, actually, we're, guys, we're already involved with our church. Oh, okay, well, that's so. good. That's good. Uh, but, you know, I just want to make sure you guys know that uh, going to church every Sunday will not save you. You know, that, you know, you may be saved, but we can't give our children a false assurance, you know, because God looks at the heart, but man looks at the outward appearance. So we may, it may seem, we may see, it may seem that we're okay on the outside, but God knows our hearts, you know, and I just want to let you guys know that, that God knows all, He sees all, He hears all. You know, even though our parents don't see us, or our mom and dad don't see us, or our husband and wife don't see us, you know, God knows everything. And the Bible says that one day we must all give an account. One day we're going to die, whether we believe it or not. <laughs> it's, it's true. You know, we're going to breathe our last breath, and we'll stand before God and give an account for all of our actions, our words, and our thoughts. And the Bible says in the book of Revelations that if our name is not found in the book of life, we will be cast into the lake of fire. There will be a weeping, wailing, and gnashing of teeth. You guys sure, for sure, know that you're saved? Yes. You have the absolute 100% assurance that if you died right now, you'd know you'd go to heaven. Yep. How do you know? How do you? I have the Holy Spirit. Jesus forgave me of all my sins. What makes I repented. You think we know? Huh? I just want to make sure. It's very, you know, just we're living in, in crazy times now. You know, it's time we got to make well. sure that we're uh, living right with God. But, you know? Uh, well, that's good. Praise God. Well, you guys would love to read this then because this is a good gospel track. It has tons of scripture, and you guys can read that together. Right. God bless you guys. How you guys doing? Uh, 
See? Some of the Señor Jesucristo. You speak Spanish, English? Yeah? No, no, no. Okay. Want to find Jesus? Okay. He is the way, the life, the truth. Yes. This is me. This is Lord. How you doing, sir? Hey, did, did you get a gospel track? It talks about the Lord Jesus. Okay. Thank you, man. God bless you, man. Do you, do you know why you need to be saved? I go to church, man. Oh, you go to church? North Shore Christian Church. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, just going to church doesn't mean uh, that we're saved. You know what I mean? Oh, absolutely. But, uh, Romans 10 and 9 says that I'm telling you why I need to be saved. Yeah, Jesus said we must be born again in order to see the kingdom. That's yeah. the only way. That's right. Yeah. Oh, that's good. It's good to hear. It's good that you know the scripture. That's very good. Praise God. God bless you, man. It's a good read. Make sure you read that, right? Hello. Um, did you guys get a gospel track? It talks about Jesus. Yeah. Do you guys know why you need to be saved? Do you guys know why you need to be saved? We're already Catholic. Okay. See, well, reality, Miss. You know, I'm not trying to offend you guys, but the reality is that, you know, no religion can save us from our sins. It's not about religion or, or church attendance. You know, it's about what the Bible says. Jesus said in John, in the Bible, John chapter 3, verse 3, that, you know, we must be born again in order to see the kingdom of God. You know, we could go to church all our life or be baptized a thousand times, but if we don't have the Holy Spirit truly indwelt within us, then we're in great danger outside of Jesus Christ. And, you know... The reason why we need to be saved, just in case if you guys didn't know, I'll let you know real fast, is that we're guilty before God because we've broken all of His laws in our thoughts, in our words, in our deeds. The laws of God are the Ten Commandments. I don't know if you've heard of those before. Do not lie, do not steal, do not commit adultery. You know, Jesus said that if we look at another woman or man with lust, we commit adultery in our heart. That if we're angry at our brother without a cause, we commit murder in our heart. You know, Adam and Eve, have you ever heard of them before, sir? Yeah, in the beginning of the Bible, God said not to eat of the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, right? And, and, they, and they disobeyed God. One act of disobedience separated them and God cast them out of the Garden of Eden. That's a picture of humanity. That one sin separates us from God because God is so holy, He's so righteous, He's so pure, and He is good. And because of our lawless ways, because of our deeds, you know, if we were to be honest with ourselves, you know, we could say that, yes, we have lied before. Or, yes, we have taken something that doesn't belong to us before. So, and we're thieves. We're all liars. We've broken the law of God. And the Bible says that if we keep the whole law and yet stumble on one, we're guilty of every single one of them. And I'm not just saying you guys, but I'm saying me as well and everybody else in the whole entire world. We're all guilty. But the good news, guys, is that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, was born through the Virgin Mary, a holy, righteous man, did not sin against God, obeyed the law that you and I have broken, was perfect in every way, shape, and form, and shed His holy, righteous blood on the cross as a sacrifice for sins. So now, through Him, if we repent, repentance means to turn away from sin. If we repent and put our faith in Him wholeheartedly, we will be saved. You know, Jesus said that, um, or it says in Romans, actually, in the Bible, it says that, for whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Uh, whoever calls upon His name will be saved. That if we humble ourselves, there is grace for us. If we humble ourselves, he, the Bible says that God rejects the proud but gives grace to the humble. You know, and I'm not asking if you guys uh, you know, practice some form of religion or go to church, you know, because that will not save you. What I'm asking is, is, are you guys born again? Are you truly indwelt with the Holy Spirit or do you just practice some form of religion? Do you go warm a bench every Sunday or are you truly reading your Bible every day and seeking the Lord with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength? You know, the Bible says that without holiness, no one will see the Lord. So I just wanted to, you know, make you guys think. If you guys really never thought about this before, it's very important. Yeah. Our soul depends upon it. So guys, come to Jesus. Okay, read that Bible every day. Okay. And a few things about the Roman Catholic Church that I just want to mention is that they, in the ten, one of the Ten Commandments, it says, "I am the Lord your God. Have no other gods before me, and I do not worship idols." You know, the first thing before you enter a Catholic church is you see a statue of some sta saint or a Virgin Mary. See, God doesn't like that. He hates that. That's a, that's an idol. You know, pictures of, of supposed saints or anything like that, that's, that's against what the Bible teaches. You know, it's against what God uh, wants us to do. Uh, and they also said, you know, the Pope, there's no such thing as a Pope written in the Bible. You can look all, as hard as you want, you'll never find a Pope. Uh, the Pope is an abomination before God, believe it or not. He says that he is the mediator between God and man, but the Bible says that Jesus Christ is the mediator between God and man. 
So it's very important you guys know this, so you don't get deceived. So, you know, we got to read that Bible every day because Jesus is the okay. King, the High Priest, Hunter. and He's the Savior. Bye -bye. So I just make sure you guys read this, okay?